Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Top10Gamer.com and I'm pretty excited because I have something today that I got from Creative Sound Blaster that I really, really like. It's their new E3 DAC or Digital to Analog Converter. Now, if you're not familiar with what a DAC is, it basically takes all those zeros and ones and converts them into a high fidelity analog wave format. This is especially exciting for gamers like you and me who were told for years and years that a sound card was the best way to go. Now, uh, just a few, you, few years later, we've all been educated and we know, hey, a sound card is not the way to go. Onboard audio for your motherboard is a much better way to go. And now we're really seeing that using a digital to analog converter is really the best of all worlds because we're taking the sound out of a USB and we're going from digital to analog outside of the computer where there's not all of that stuff going on. The result of all of this is lower impedance, better dynamics, better detail, better sound staging due to better circuitry that's in a device like this. And the result overall is a better experience in games. Something I really wasn't getting when I was comparing a sound card to an onboard audio or anything else. Really, the only way to improve your audio is to go this direction. Now, Creative has three of these in their line. I am actually reviewing the middle of the road one. There's the E1, there's the E3, and the E5. Now, the E3 retails for about $120, $130 the E1 for that $40 range and the E5, you know, in that $180 range. So uh, clearly there are some big differences between the three. Today we're going to focus on the E3, but if you were just going to use something like this for your PC, then you might want to go with something less expensive like the E1. This is really the jack of all trades model that includes things like Bluetooth. Okay, so other than slightly better sound quality, again, you're gonna use this because you want it for the Bluetooth. You can handle your phone calls through this. It has a, it has a mic right here on the side. You can't see it from there, but I'll give you an up close shot in a minute. And you can, you can handle your phone calls, you can listen to all the audio you want, and you can take it with you because, because it has this nifty clip. Now, you might not put it on your shirt like this, but this is just to kind of show you that uh, it's really portable device. It weighs like 44 grams, so it wouldn't be hard to take with you to school or anywhere you go. Okay, so it was kind of difficult to get this picture for me. I don't have the best camera in the world. It's pretty good, but uh, this uh, device is really small. Like I said, it just weighs 44 grams. And to give you a, an indication of how small it is, here's my lens cap, which fits pretty much front to back on that. Um, so very small. Here on the side, you can see that there's an area where you can separate your headphone from your mic to preserve audio quality. Uh, on the side here is where you can handle your phone calls, switch to Bluetooth, turn it on. Um, up here on top, yeah, there you can see it from that angle, is a microphone um, for your phone calls. And you got your plus minus volume there, your forward backward tracks. Um, and then here you can see it's micro USB right there. And uh, anyway, overall a very small device. Here's the clip, uh, which is a very sturdy clip. This isn't going to fall off you or anything. Okay, so it's it was clear to me when they sent these two products together that they were kind of meant together, meant to work together. But obviously, you can get your own pair of headphones to do this. But uh, kind of nice that uh, Creative sent. A, an audio splitter so that you can separate the mic um, from the headset here uh, in the, the DAC right here and you just do that by plugging one in here and one in here and then you, there you've preserved your uh, high quality audio. Speaking of the Inferno headset that we just reviewed, uh, using this DAC with it really was a night and day difference in terms of the sound quality. There was just so much more there. It, the only uh, way I could describe it is an airy versus dry feeling. Um, so uh, maybe that makes sense to you guys, maybe it doesn't, but there was just more there. Now that would certainly work with any other headset. And I told you what my viewpoint was on the Inferno before, but again, nice that it comes with the splitter and nice that it's pretty inexpensive at around $49.99. Okay, so the E3 seems like a pretty good deal, but there are certainly other good options on the market. You've got the Cambridge DAC Magic, which is a popular one that's about the size of a matchbox. In my opinion, uh, the conversion and amplification on that device is slightly superior, 
but it's outdated and $60 more than the E3 and has no Bluetooth option. Uh, another popular and more portable option is the AudioQuest Dragonfly, which gives outstanding audio and is even smaller in size, but it's kind of wanky. Uh, it isn't as easy to carry with you because it puts, uh, it goes right into your, your USB dongle and then has a separate satellite option and uh, it lacks Bluetooth. Uh, the E3 rings in at 44 grams, power pretty, powers pretty much any headphones up to 600 ohms and has a very convenient clip, which in my opinion was one of Creative's better design decisions with this device. Most importantly, uh, the Bluetooth functionality keeps it cordless when you're on the go with up to eight hours of audio streaming and 17 hours with analog audio. You can use it along with your built-in microphone to answer calls from your phone, and it's perfect to use with your tablet or smartphone. Now, although I don't have my, didn't have my hands on it, uh, just taking a look at the E5 versus the E3 and E1, uh, really quick, if you go to the website, you can see a full technical spec comparison of these three items because I think for a lot of you, the E1 might make more sense. And uh, I really like the E1 versus other options out there like the X5 Go or the FIO E6 just because, you know, when compared to something like the FIO E6, the Creative E1 boasts a longer battery life, micro USB, and slightly better sound overall. Okay, so one small criticism I have for the Creative Sound Blaster team and other manufacturers who do this, holding this power button down here to switch to Bluetooth is a bit of a pain and it's kind of tricky. So uh, I just prefer to have a different button option, but overall, it doesn't hurt the product too much. I'd give it a 4.5 out of five. Uh, that's about as high as I go, just because it was that uh, noticeable when I was playing games in terms of the audio quality. Uh, the life was really there and it's something you guys should really experience for yourself. I think for a lot of you, the cheaper 40 to $50 options and like the E1 is gonna be the way to go uh, unless you really need that Bluetooth option. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions about this device or anything else, don't uh, be afraid to ask me in the comment section below. Also follow me up here as well as facebook.com slash top 10 gamer. Got a lot of great stuff coming up for you, including an update on all of my PC builds. So look forward to that and we'll see you next time.